In this video, we will learn about the null functions that are used in SQL. So in SQL Server, we mainly use two null functions which are isNull and Colise. In MySQL, we use ifNull and Colise and in Oracle, Oracle, we use NVL and Colise. And in this video, we will see what isNull and Colise is all about in SQL Server. And ifNull and NVL have the same operation as isNull. So you can simply substitute the function and use the same syntax as isNull and use the same in MySQL and Oracle. So to see the function, I have created one table called as product table. Let me query the table and then let us see the schema. So this is the table which is created. So we have four columns. The first column is item. Then the second is units sold with respect to the item, then units on order and unit price. And I have formulated a question which is find the total sales with respect to each item. We can simply use a multiplication and addition operator and find the total sales in this query because since the items are not repeating, there is no need to use any group by or any complicated functions. The basic equation will be like, we will calculate the sum of units sold and units order, then multiply it with the unit price. Then we will get the total sales contributed by each item. Let us start writing the query for the same. Select the first column is item. Then we want the total sales. So we are going to sum up unit sold plus units on order. Then we are going to multiply this with the unit price. Then we will get the total amount. Unit price. Now this query is not giving, going to give us the right answer because I will show you what will happen. And we are taking this from the product table. Now let us run this query. Also the table query and see what is the result that we are going to get. See now if we inspect the result we can see that this is the actual table we are having and this is the new result we created that is the no sorry I will rename the column name so it will be easy for us to understand so we will name the new column as total sales now let us run the query once more yeah so now if we inspect we can see that for book the total sales is null and for toys also the total sales is null but if we see the parent table product table we can see that for book unit sold is 200 ideally the result should have been 200 multiplied with unit sale unit price that is 30 and we should get 6000 corresponding to book and for for toys it should be 125 multiplied by 40 and the corresponding result that we should get here but we are getting null here and if we go forward with this calculation this is going to give us wrong result and why this happened is because of this null value which we have on the units on order column so now we are going to see how to solve this problem with the null functions in sql the first one is we are going to use the is null so in this query we are going to use is null and solve this problem so on the units on order column, we are going to use is null. And after this units on order, we are going to put a comma and after that we will put one zero. So how this work is, if the first column is null, then it will take the second value. That is how it works. So if units on order is null, it will take the value for that corresponding column as 0 that is whichever value we are giving as the second argument it will take if I give 1 here it will take 1 so now let us run the query and see what is the result now if you see we can see that the null is no more seen in the result but we have the correct answer that is for book 200 into 30 which is 6000 and for toys 125 into 40 that is 5000 so this is how we use is null in SQL.
And now if we go forward and see how colleagues work, let us see that using colleagues, let us copy this query because same query only we are going to use. Instead of this isNull function, I'm going to remove this isNull function and instead of this isNull function, we are going to use COA, LESC colleagues and after the column name that is the first argument we will put 0 this function also will give us the same result but what is the difference between colleagues and isnull is that isnull will have only two arguments and colleagues can have multiple arguments many number of arguments we can give in colleagues but not in isnull so if the arguments are only two both the functions are operating same and both the functions will, will look like same but if the arguments are more we can use colleagues so i can show you that uh, in colleagues also it works like if the first value is null or the first column is null it will take the second value and if the second value is also null it will take the third value now let us run the query and see what is the result see result did not change right so it is because now we have three arguments even if we have three arguments it skipped the null columns or the null values and went to the non null value. If I am adding one more null here, that is the third argument is also a null, and we have the fourth argument as a non null value. Now, also we will get the result without any problem because colleagues can take many number of arguments. So, that is the difference between is null and colleagues. But how it acts on the particular column is almost similar. And this, in the same way, we can use the other two functions in MySQL and Oracle that is if null and nvl. Thank you.